Hello. In this session, we are going to discuss and continue the previous session. In the previous session, we learn uh, uh, the uh, types of paragraphs, how we are going to connect to one to uh, another one or each other one in a, an essay. Now you see the parts of the paragraph. In a paragraph, how many paragraphs, how many? A parts are there supporting ideas uh, after topic sentence the uh, foremost important one is supporting ideas and next one is sentences in the paragraph that explain the topic sentence it is recommendable the paragraph has around three supporting ideas you must write at least three supporting ideas then only your essay can get the better one and the next you see parts of the paragraph in that you see you can use or you, you can keep the comparisons statistics quotations personal experiences in the paragraphs next uh, they must illustrate the supporting ideas and after that you can give the details in the form of the presentation and then next let us do the quick exercise here now take one paper and make that one as a strip of nine nine in your groups put the strips in the correct order so that they make a coherent paragraph now you are going to do one small exercise how to do the correct paragraph take a paper make it a nine strips and share among you all those nine strips because what we discussed in the previous slide so the parts of the paragraph you can use a comparison statistics quotations personal experience and each sentence must illustrate the supporting ideas and you can write the details you take one topic sentence that must be followed by supporting sentence at least three like three into three nine so each one of you are going to contribute one one sentence to make a beautiful paragraph Here you see, Mark Twain already you have read one quotation. Now you see Stephen King what he has given. Imitation is a perfectly honorable way to get started as a writer and impossible to avoid really. Some sort of imitation marks each new stage of writer's development. So you, you can imitate your favorite author. Just a tip that is. Now you see the mechanics of writing. You have to write a sentence, at least one sentence on the particular strip at the end of this session I'm going to collect it, right? So agree, what are the mechanics of the writing? While writing sentence, what you have to follow? Agreement in number, singular, plural, like that. Then while using pronouns, you have to follow this and it uh, see or a specific reference to a noun next agree in person first person second person third person if you are using pronouns so these are three are very important in sentence structure next you see if you see the condition here the mechanics of writing see the sentences if the student passes this course, they will graduate. When a person comes to class, you should have his homework ready. Kim spends all his time reading and playing saucer, but it isn't good for him. Now here mechanics of writing, you see, you can write the compound sentence and you can use a singular Subject connected by and verb is plural. Noun verb, here agreement. Plural, singular, subject joined by or, or, or nor. Verb agrees, closes subject. To the previous three sentences. It is a compound one and a singular subject connected by or, or, or nor. Verb is a singular. Noun verb agreement. You can use these mechanics while writing a sentences. 
Next, run on sentences. What are these? Made of two or more independent clauses or complete sentences. And you can use plural and singular subject joined by or, uh, or, or, or not. Verb agrees, closest subject. Place together into one sentence without proper punctuation. Next, here, the next one is you can correct it and replace it with a period of time and you can use punctuation marks. Suppose here, incorrect use of comma to connect two complete sentences. Next, replace it with a semicolon and use a conjunction and it creates a run-on sentence at the end. So here, continue the same mechanics of writing. What is the comma splice? Our school is, our school received an award. We rise the most money for the local child. This is the first one. Next, corrected sentence. Our school received an award. Will it stop? We raised the most money for the local charity. Otherwise, you can write in another way also. Our school received an award. Here, semicolon. We raised the most money for the local charity. And see, this is the third one, third model. Our school received an award because we raised the most money for the local charity. The first one is having here in this sentence a small correction that is usage of the comma. So that is called a comma splice. So that is not correct and you can follow the rest of the three sentences more. You see the next one. Here the first one is join without a conjunction, semicolon, usage of the semicolon that have commas. Next connect it with the adverb relationship. Next one use semicolons to separate independent clauses. Examples here you see four people worked on the project, semicolon. Give the priority for the punctuation here. Only one received credit for it. The strays were malnourished, dirty, and ill, but Liz had a weakness for kittens, so she adopted them all. Victoria was absent frequently, therefore, she received a low grade. It is time for a little game to relax and review some of the concepts we have gone through so far. Once again, you see the sentences here. This is at the semicolon we are going to practice. Here three sentences were given to you. Read these the three sentences where we applied the punctuation mark of semicolon. Identify the particular difference among these three sentences. Later we have a small game. How we are going to connect the sentences one to another one in a paragraph. Here I am going to share with you one more quotation by Hemingway. There is nothing to writing. All you do is 
sit down at a typewriter and read it. Whatever you know, you start to write, then only that is writing. Again, we are having the first side here. What is an essay? A piece of writing that is a long enough to cover many topics and present different viewpoints. When writing an essay, it is never acceptable to write in the first person. We must remember this particular point. The introduction presents the topic and your opinion. Here you write the thesis statement. In the conclusion, you often restate the thesis and summarize the main points of the essay. And purpose and types of essays. Already we know the types of essays. And here it explain and discuss. Next one is identify and solve problem, compare and contrast, perceive a reader, respond to a reading. So in introduction, body and conclusion, these are the parts of the MSA. So approximately 10% of the total length is the introduction. Body, each paragraph should have one main point. In conclusion, it is going to sum up, sums up each paragraph of the essay. So now you see the introduction of the topic how you are going to introduce the topic now we are going to show the narrowing of the topic parts of the essay introduction now state the writer's position on what topic you are going to write that is the stating next one is introduce this statement next in here you have to see how you are going to divide topics into the subtopics next one each one will be a paragraph or its form next write sentences to agree this statement Fourth one, use transitions between paragraphs. How the particular idea is going to transfer to the next sentence, the transitions. Now you see in the conclusion, you have to do restate the thesis statement. Next, restate the topic sentences, restate your opinion. Then. That is a better conclusion. Now you are going to start the position. So now the process is going to start how to write an essay. Choose a topic to write about. Next brainstorm ideas into paper. to think it put it on paper organize notes from the previous brainstorm write the first draft of the essay get the feedback from the your, from your classmates or the teacher after writing first draft Make changes and write second draft. Now you keep your final paper with you for discussion. So in the next session, we are going to discuss all these things about the full paper of your presentation. Thank you.